it feels good to see something wild and free. Because we too want to be wild and free. And there's so much, especially in modern day society, it's, it's no wonder that these creatures are disappearing because so is that aspect of our lives. But we can remember that as long as there are wild places and wild things. We can remember that part of ourselves, which is a big part, I think, of what makes us human beings. You get a rolling shot. Yes, let's get some B-roll if we drive by. <laughs> He's buying some shit from the house. What do you think he's buying right now? He's got the low quality. <laughs> low quality thing. It, it, it's because, uh, it's like a. He needs to get the fuel for the spaceship so when we go oh, on the mission, yeah, so we can actually make it to it, you know what I mean? Oh, you're right, you're we right. need enough fuel to get to the mission. Oh, what are we talking about? Oh, oh, we're just buying on you, bro. Yeah, we, we're just buying on you in the item shop, you know what I'm saying? Bro, gas in Arizona was $3. I hate it here. Bro, Arizona gas. They can't work on Saturday. No. Because God said so, I guess. Yo, God is a dub, bro. I don't feel like I'm about to be in like a, a, a YouTube skit right now. I'm talking about the multiverses when you first open the game. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right, Jonathan. What you doing, bro? We are down, bro. We're about to go. We're about to be. The PSI is going down as we speak. We're about to be in the. <laughs> what you think about this? Twenty-five. Sorry, I was lagging out. My bad. <laughs> I said, what you think about this? What? Whoa! This was one of the first trails that we went on during this trip. Our plans were set very loosely, you know, we didn't have it mapped out or anything. So the only goal that we really had was to have as much fun as we could, explore the mountain, and find cool new places that we can share with you guys. <laughs> SoCal is hot, and this was a very much needed day trip to escape some of that SoCal heat. It was about 105 degrees where I live, and coming up here, it was only about 75 degrees. So that makes a big difference, and it makes everybody a lot happier. Chucky, how's this experience for you so far? Exquisite. Exquisite, all right. Medieval. Medieval. Yes, that's the medieval Subaru Forest. And my taxi is here. You really see that transition from the desert landscape to the sort of mountainous landscape that we're used to. I talk about that a little bit more in the video, but this was just the first shot that I had that made me realize, dang, we are like right in between two different biomes right now. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool.
After a couple hours of messing around on this little OHV playground, we decided that it was time to start heading back towards the forest. It was pretty funny because I really did not know that this area existed. In fact, the first thing that I thought about when we arrived was Minecraft. And that's because of this tree right here. It just completely looks like one of the acacia trees in the game. The landscape here was for sure a little different than the big bear that I'm used to, because this area had red dirt and joshua trees all around us. But anyways, we started heading back, and you could see the transition from the desert landscape, and we could definitely feel it. With every half mile traveled, it seemingly lowered the temperature even more. And when we got on the straightaway, we noticed there was a great Tacoma behind us, and that's when we met Eddie. Eddie was a cool guy, just passing through the area, and he wanted to try out some trails over here. We exchanged some useful information about the trails, and then in under 5 minutes, we were both on our ways. And I'm sorry if my friend was driving too close to you, we did not mean to scare you. And I also got a couple cool pics of your car while on the road, so if you didn't see them on Instagram, you are seeing them now. This is the beauty of not just off-roading, but doing stuff like hiking, camping, and other outdoorsy things. You meet tons of cool people, all of whom share similar interests, so it's pretty easy to make new friends. And before we get to the next segment, I just cannot continue this video without showing you guys this scenery that we saw. It was absolutely beautiful. This is where we found Eddie, and I hope you guys like this little cinematic. I respect I would If I had a daughter, I would love her so much. I respect that. I don't I want a kid anytime soon, but I'm telling you, if I if Sierra got pregnant, bro, that kid Ooh. would be my whole world. It's a dub, bro. Yeah, we got an interview going on now. Would she be a world because So do we think Fortnite is losing popularity? I mean with the introduction of cars. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's burning wood down here. What the heck? Campfire. Oh my, we're actually stupid, bro. What? Look here. Ah, oh, what good is this not doing this? I low key, I pointed that to that, but no, you guys didn't say anything. So I didn't say nothing. All right, guys. Awesome. I got a question. It's your question. Chilling question. Would you rather be able to fly or run really fast? Uh, fly, bro. Fly, bro. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I could fly. I could literally just be like, yo, I'm gonna go over there, guys. <laughs> But, but you can only fly to like five miles an hour. No, <laughs> it's like, no, so I'll be right back, guys. You can only fly like, like 20 feet off the ground. So you're gonna see me go, it's gonna be like. <laughs> Look at the distance, just you going <laughs> up the mountain. And, it's, and you're only, you can only fly at 10 miles an hour, so you're just like, I'll be right back, guys. I mean, to be honest, for like flying, 10 miles per hour is not that bad. Cause think about it, you got like no obstacles or anything. I just like Homelander okay. or like Omni Man. It would still take you forever to get anywhere. Yeah. Honestly, you'd, you'd still get there faster just driving. How far away do you think that is? Like to the other side. I don't know. Is it like two miles, three miles? Straight shot? Maybe. Right. I was going to say 20 miles. That is not That's 20, not 20, 20 miles. miles. Here, let's do it right now. I have Google Maps. Oh, Bro, you dumb.
Does it clear? Does it clear? And he makes it. Japanese engineering. I know, it looks like a quarry or something. Yo, I'm gonna get a picture of your car right now, bro. It's like a good scenery with all the rocks and stuff. I see, I see. It'd be a road off to the left, it looks like. I'm gonna go up here and see. All right, bro. Chalky shake. He was on the side of the road for that one. Hey, what happened? Get to get the sign. Oh, okay. First time, no one get mad. No one get mad at me. All right, we're doing somewhat of a challenging thing. Hello, hello. All right, let's get it. Chilling right now. Yep. The button down for like half a second before you start talking, otherwise it cuts off your message. Aye, aye. Um, I think to the passenger a little bit, or else you want to go in the bushes. <laughs> Gotta keep going to the passenger a little, a little more to the passenger. Strain it out a little bit. Man, it's kind of tough. There's like a big rock like right under the car. I can move the rock. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just kind of scared because it's kind of pointy and it's kind of like pointing at like the, the wall of your tire. <laughs> is this rock right there in the middle? Like I think everything else is fine except this rock. This one. This like oh, open. my whole plan was to go over that one. Oh, that rock? Yeah. Oh. Passenger, passenger! That's fine, bro. Bro, if you put this in the video, you gotta like put a caption that says, it's my first time spotting. My first time, no one get mad. No one get mad at me. All right, then, I mean, I guess just keep going on that path. All right, straighten out a little bit. You're like teetering on that rock right now. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go straight. Jeez. Turn left, turn left, bro, turn left. Home landed in bullets in the war and nicked me wee little lass right under me. F***ing diabolical. I just want to say thank you again to Matthew for taking us all up here. It was a great adventure filled with fun and an awe-inspiring moment. I'd also like to take a second to dedicate this video to Matthew, as he is going to be leaving us for some time to further his career at the military. You're a very smart and adaptable guy, so to be honest, I'm not really that worried about you. I'm very certain that you will be alright. I can't wait to go on another adventure with you, and I will be getting ready for when that time comes. Maybe the Landover will actually be off-road ready by that time. <laughs> Good luck, bro, and achieve greatness.